And welcome to Makeup Mug. Well, my name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Saturday morning. I've slept in. I've done the old hair wash. Sapped all of my energy. <laughs> so let's get ready for our absolutely doing nothing day here. And I want to use my products that I got from my Boxy, no, Boxy, woo, Beautylish Lucky Bag. Um, I got the XL this year and super excited to open that on my channel and go check out everything that I got. I got some skincare, hair care stuff. I've used all of those things today um, just to try them out because I was saving all my things to try. Um, so we're gonna do a combination of uh, things that we got and then other things that uh, you, know, you don't get like a full face. So we'll just get ready together. Um, I will not be using the little Viseart uh, Petit Four little Chocolat, look at this cute thing. Um, we'll save her for another day because we got another eyeshadow palette that we are going to use. Um, so we'll talk about that. We're gonna use some of our brushes from past boxes um, and uh, another product from a past Lucky Bag box. It's gonna be fun. So let's uh, cuddle in. Let's get, <laughs> get you a blanket and a dog or a cat, birdfish, iguana and let's uh let's put some makeup on our face so um one thing that i can tell you is that many of you <laughs> my analytics show subscribe to my channel from the beautylish unboxing which is so funny to me because um it's such a luxury brand box like it's such a lovely high-end gorgeous products and I don't use those all the time <laughs> so I hope that you're still okay hanging out here with, with some low-end products that work really well um I do love a good bougie face but it's you know it's not what I buy um most of the time which makes those Beautylish boxes so good for me. So I've seen so many folks uh, unbox them. And, and there's, there's several types of people who, who purchase these. And I've, I've noticed that if you are, if you purchase from Beautylish and you buy these products, um, these brands that are sold by Beautylish on the regular basis, like you love, you know, uh, Wayne Goss makeup and Natasha Denona and Charlotte Tilbury, and you get, you get, um, the, you have those in your collection, you buy them when they release, and you have a number of those types of products. When you get the box, it's a very good chance that you will have dupes. There aren't unique products. It's just what Beautylish sells can make it into the box. And it can be hair care, it can be skin care, it can be makeup. Um, it's some, some even a little bit lifestyle. Like, like, and I say that because like I saw somebody get like silk pillowcases, which I would love that too. And I guess it's technically hair care, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I've got primer and eye primer on my face. Uh, today's foundation we're trying from the depths of my drawer. Uh, of trying foundation. This is the Wander Beauty New Delusion Liquid Foundation. I have it in the shade Fair. It has a a blop blop blop. Um, doe foot applicator is the word I'm looking for. And so let's let's try her out. I haven't used her in forever. Um, I do remember that the doe foot kind of gets stuck, and then when you pull it out, you get foundation everywhere. But I didn't remember that soon enough for that to make a difference today. Anyway, as we apply, we shall continue. So when people open the, the Beautylish box, if they have shopped with Beautylish and they, they own a lot of those products, there's a very good chance that they will already have the product. If they are aware of that and fine with it, um, great. It, it is, you know, I'm sure upsetting if you already have the product and disappointing and such. Uh, there was a year that I got the big palette that I got in my box was a Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette, which I had already owned. Uh, and that was the first year that they actually started um, offering a Jeffree Star only box. 
and I opted not to purchase that because I wasn't purchasing uh, from Jeffree Star anymore. And yes, I was disappointed because it was a product uh, not only that I owned, but that I had decided that I wasn't going to purchase from that brand. Um, and I wasn't anticipating for there to be Jeffree Star products in the regular Beautylish boxes because they were they, they were offering uh, that brand's products in its own box. So I sent a message to Beautylish and simply said, um, I just wanted to give you some feedback. If, you know, the my assumption, wrong or whatever, was that if, I ordered the regular Beautylish box and not the Jeffree Star box that I wouldn't be getting a Jeffree Star item in my box and just let them know. They thanked me for my feedback and that was it. I gave the palette to the kid. She enjoyed it and there, Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. So it is, that's a nice foundation, a little bit yellow for me, but we'll, we'll work on it with some some powder on top. That's not bad. <laughs> Guess who forgot to wet her sponge today? That would be me. That's okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So anyway, if you're anticipating getting new products uh, and you shop Beautylish, there's a chance you'll get a dupe. However, if you don't shop Beautylish <laughs> because you mainly shop affordable products and sale pages, <laughs> Your girl here, uh, then you very likely won't get any dupes. So that was the only product that I've ever gotten that I uh, had any, I, get, I don't use a negative feeling about, but because it wasn't negative, it was just an assumption on my part. Um, and I shared my feelings with the company and moved on. It is, it's sad to me when people open the box and they're like very disappointed in every product because they won't use it. I just, I feel so bad for them, but also I feel like that's kind of, not kind of, that's what a mystery box is. Beautylish doesn't know what you like. <laughs> They're, you know, the person who's packing your box is putting, you know, a certain amount of product value into that box because they, they guarantee that you'll have over X number of value in your box. And, cheers. And so I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Have you gotten them? Are you someone who is disappointed when the value, not the value, but the products aren't what you would buy for yourself? To me, just save your money and buy the product that you really wanted. Um, you know, like folks were like, well, I really hope I get this product and they don't, and they get, you know, they're feeling some kind of way. Um, I just, I like, I like the surprise of it. I have loved everything, trying everything. I've gifted a couple of things uh, that weren't necessarily for me. Um, and yeah, I mean, like it's, it's been such a good experience for me. Plus I love watching everyone else's unboxings. If, if they got exact, like some of us are like twinnings on the boxes. We have everything right down to the shade. And there's a couple of y'all that have subscribed <laughs> that are here. We got everything the same this year and I'm okay. I'm like so excited about that. It's, it's the excitement of it to me. So I'm, um, I'm just pleased that, um, I like everything in my box, but also I, I, I'm easy. I guess I'm easy to please when it comes to that because um, I'll try everything once. Um, the only thing that I wouldn't necessarily try is, you know, something that I know wouldn't be good for my skin um, or something that is um, a, a duplicate. And I'll, I'll give it a whirl. So I've had, uh, last year I got, I thought that I was very lucky uh, just because of the products that I received. Uh, you can go watch that unboxing. It's, it's quite a fun video because I... Uh, I kind of get emotional because I wasn't expecting um, what I got and I hadn't seen anyone else open a box like mine. So I wasn't even uh, anticipating that that could be an option. And I'm excited. Uh, I'll, I'll use one of my products today from last year, uh, but my eyeshadow palette last year was from Tom Ford and I was so excited. Um, I just used the AOA Studio. You want to talk about high low here. This is the top secret concealer from AOA Studio. This is the shade Light Ivory, which is I think the second darkest shade. I have it in porcelain as well. Um, and I just tapped that under with a Real Techniques brush 
um, under my eyes. I have been using this all week, uh, trying her out. She's a new product, costs a dollar. So we'll be using, you know, Charlotte Tilbury and <laughs> AY Studio today. But that's a, that's what I love about makeup is that for me, um, there's, there's part of makeup that is the joy of finding things that are like dupes for high-end products for really inexpensive. And I love that part of sharing what I find, but also using really beautiful products and luxury products that feel luxurious and that are um, just beautiful, beautiful aesthetically to see and to hold and to touch, but also to wear. So yeah. Let's try one of our new products. This is the Natasha Denona Bronze Cheek Face Glow Face Palette. This is one I was hoping to get because I do not own it. I own several of her blush um, blushes and a, a, a couple of face palettes that are blush specific, but not this one. And I've saw, I saw a couple of people open this box um, or open their box or show their box on Instagram. Follow the the hashtag of Beautylish Lucky Bag and you'll you'll get your fill. It's so much fun. <clears throat> and I'm also gonna use my new Sonia G brush that I got in my box this year. This is the Sculpt 4. She's a fan, kind of fat, tilted, tilted, angled, <laughs> slightly angled uh, fan brush. And I'm going to try the new Bounce Cream. It's It says Bounce Cream Blush. It looks a little bit um, bronzy to me. So let's let's try her out and just see where, where we go with this one because this is a cream product. She has a little flap that will protect the creams from the powders um, as you store it or as you use your powders. Okay, I'm going to try this just as a cream kind of a bronzy product and just see how we go here. Okay, that does offer some really pretty color. I do love a cream liquid cream bronzer before I powder. I always like that. This, see, is there a little bit there? Yes, girl, go ahead. It is uh, shimmery, which I don't mind. I enjoy a shimmery product. I love to glow, so I'm good with that. Pretty. We've got a highlighter um, as well in this one, a cream highlighter. We'll use her too. That's really, really pretty. It is, uh, there's not a color on this. Um, so there's not like different shades. It's just, this is the one. I do have her bronze um, eyeshadow palette from Natasha Donna. I love that. That's a beautiful palette. I have loved that ever since I got it. And that's the other thing. Like if I got, you know, a, a, an eyeshadow palette that I already owned, um, I, it would be a beautiful gift for somebody in my family or my friends that I would be happy to give to someone else because that's okay if I got a duplicate of that. Okay, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I am going to use the, oh, it's like an opalescent kind of, I'm just going to tap some of that up here. And then we'll, that's really pretty. That's pretty. Okay. That's so pretty. Okay. <laughs> Just get excited. And let's do a quick powder. What powder do we want to use, darling? Let's use good old LA Colors from the dollar store. This is in the shade Nude. It looks crazy, but it's not. It It's a really nice little powder to just set down whatever you've got. doesn't add much color at all. just mattifies. Um, and I find that if I have a powder on over a foundation, that it will last longer. And I usually wear my makeup for quite a long time during the day, during the work week. Um, it's, you know, 15, 16 hours. Um, between when I put on my makeup and when I actually wash my face and want to be done for the day. So I uh, I like powdering. I don't have super oily face. I have a normal face. I do get oily in my T-zone occasionally, but it's not a big deal. Okay, we're itching right here, which means it's a good day. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you haven't found me before, all right, couple other products uh, real quick. Let's do brows.
just like a brow pomade in a spoolie format. This is from Merit Beauty. I'll be doing a full face of that in a, probably tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. And let's see here. Let's use a product from last year that I got. This is beat up. <laughs> Sorry. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Mini. Um, this is from Hourglass. Um, it's got a finishing powder, a bronzer, and a blush, and then what they call a strobe powder, which is a really a highlighter. But this came in my box, my Beautylish Lucky Bag, last year, and it's gorgeous. So let's use her. Um, I am going to use a little bit of that... Um, what did they call it? Hold on, let me find out what the name it is again. The finishing powder uh, to set my under eyes. So let me find a brush that would be appropriate for that. Oh, please. You look nice. What are you? Oh, it's a little Luxie brush. Okay. Hourglass uh, products have beautiful finishes if you like kind of airbrushed effects. I love, I love them. They're so pretty. Okay. Love, okay. I do have, but hang on. Let me look and see what I want to use from in here. Ooh, that's such a glowy bronzer. I think I want to go cool on my eyes. So let's use, let's use some of the hourglass bronzer and then I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to top it with a little bit of the Natasha Denona. Super glow nude is what they're calling it. I have a couple of hourglass powders in different formats. This is my one palette. I've never bought an actual palette from Hourglass. Usually at the holidays, they have some really beautiful palettes uh, that they come out with. I've just never committed. This is very glowy. <laughs> so we'll use that sparingly there. Wow, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Yes, I'm glowing, honey. Go ahead. That is stunning. I'm so excited to use that. that. I love it. Okay. Blush. We'll use this uh, hourglass blush that's in this palette here. Let me see the shade real quick if they tell us on the back. Nude flush. No, mood flush. <laughs> Pretty. And then we've got this strobing thing here. Let's get a, a something. Here, let's get a fan brush. And strobe a little bit on top of the Natasha cream highlighter. That's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Love it so much. Love it so much. Okay. Super happy with face today, y'all. Okay. I haven't used this yet. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette in Smoky Eyes Are Forever. When I showed you this palette, that shade fell out. And so I, afterwards, after the video, uh, many of y'all told me, to uh, reach out to Beauty Lish, they would send me another one. And I absolutely believe you. Um, and I would if I hadn't been able to get it back in. Um, I'm okay with, with this eyeshadow palette the way that it is. I don't need a whole nother one. Um, and so I'm fine. I'm totally happy with it. Um, but I know that if, if this happened to you and you wanted a new one, Beauty Lish customer service is amazing. Uh, I did have an issue in one of my boxes one year where I got a Jouer lip um, set and half of the things weren't in it. And I reached out to them. I shot them a, a picture of it real quick. Um, they didn't ask for one, but I just did when I when I sent the in, initial email. And they responded immediately and sent me out an, a new one. Uh, so I know that they are very good. So if, you, if this happened to you or something similar, I, their customer service is amazing. But I, I don't need, so I'm fine. Um, we are going to use... Um, I'm just so excited. I want to use I want to use these greens. I just do. 
and we we might use some of the shade that fell out. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I am a cool tone shadow lover, but I also love shadows of all colors, and I am pleased with the color palette. I've never owned any Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes. And so this was exciting. Last year I got a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in this beautiful raspberry color. Like no other lipstick I've ever owned. And this year I got another lippy we're gonna try. But it is, it's just so much fun to me to try these products that I would never buy myself. Um, and it's a treat. It's a treat to, to wait for it. Um, it's a treat to get excited about it when it ships and to see everyone else's. It's also a way that, I mean, I, I'll truly have connected with so many people who get this box because I find them by, you know, searching the hashtags or whatever on Instagram or YouTube to see their videos. And then I find creators who are like me sitting in their homes and um, playing with makeup. And I love it. I love everything about that. So I love it so much. Okay. That is a beautiful shade. I also used my Wayne Goss 17 brush that came in a box Oh, several years ago. I think it was the, the first year that he came out with his brushes. I didn't, I haven't bought, I don't buy luxury brushes. This is one of my Sonia G's. This is the Jumbo Blender. I, I don't, I don't buy luxury brushes. I have so many brushes and Real Techniques brushes are so good that I don't, I don't feel the spirit move me to. However, I love getting them. <laughs> I love getting the beautiful brushes um, every year. So I'm super excited. I have another Sonia G somewhere. I don't know where she went. Um, I've got cups of brushes everywhere. They are everywhere. Is she over here? And um, I'll, I'll find her at some point. But I, I love to use um, those brushes and and just enjoy the the feel of them. They're they're just they're just stunning. Okay, let's see. Do I want to just use? I think I just want to use that that trio. So let's use the darker olive. Oh my, oh my goodness. That's beautiful, y'all. Good glory be, that's pretty. I know a lot of folks really like calculating the value that they get in their box. I actually don't do that. Um, I don't really look any prices up or anything. Um, I know that I know that I'm going to get a good value, and that's not the that's not the thing that gets me excited. Um, but it does for some people. I also, I mean, I I do enjoy watching folks that when they get excited about how much, um, you know, the retail prices or whatever. I, I do enjoy that. That part's fun because then people get really excited. Okay. Try the lighter green. Oh my good googly moogly. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. like absolute butter butter I have no words also I have no fallout <laughs> <laughs> just in case that was a concern okay I want to use a little bit of the broken shadow that is now no longer broken this it's just the story of my life y'all I just uh, we can't have nice things. But you know what? We also make them work. And that's how, that's okay. Okay. She is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm now yelling. Sorry, headphones users. Good glory. Okay, I now see it. I now understand. You know, you don't. You don't always understand why people pay certain things for certain things. My goodness. 
So I used the, it, it's called the Power Eyes, but it, I used, I'm trying not to tilt too much because I don't want anything else to fall out. This is in my crease, this matte, uh, and then this is on the outer corner. This is the inner half of my eye, and then I just popped that in my inner corner. Um, so excited. That is absolutely stunning. That is so beautiful. I can't wait to try all the other ones. I can't wait to try all the other shades in that palette. 10 out of 10. So beautiful. Let's, shall we line a little bit today? Let's line a little bit today. What do we want to use here? Oh, as I throw things around, let's use the old Maybelline Master Precise. Oof. I don't know that I've ever gotten an eyeliner in uh, my lucky bag. I don't think that I have. I did notice that some people have gotten the, like, I guess they're Ardell lashes because Beautylish sells Ardell. Um, and that's an interesting ch choice for Beautylish. I mean, I know that they sell them, but most people aren't very pleased when they receive them. But I'll tell you what I am pleased to receive every year is, a, is something from Good Molecules. This year I received the Hyaluronic Acid Essence. Uh, I used it today. It is absolutely gorgeous as I anticipated it to be. But every year, everything that I've gotten in my box, I use it completely up. Like the skincare that I get, I love it so much. And the Good Molecules brand is Beautylicious house brand. And they are so affordable. Like it is, so, and it's such good stuff. Such good stuff. So I like trying the things from the box, but I've, I've purchased other Good Molecules stuff because it's so good. Okay. Just a thin line, just a thin black line there. This is my favorite eyeliner, um, like liquid eyeliner. It's just a little, it's a baby one, but I love it so much. Love it. Okay, I did, I don't think I've ever gotten mascara either. Um, so we'll use, I'll just use my Merit Mascara real quick. And curl these lashes. And I did get a lip this year. I got a lip liner and a lipstick. I think most people, not most people, but quite a number of people got a Wayne Goss lipstick and a Wayne Goss lip liner this year. And I don't know if that was intentional or, you know, how that played out. But it is, um, I don't own any Wayne Goss makeup. And I was very happy. Many people got his palette, which I would have been ecstatic to try as well. So beautiful. And then quite a number of people got Hindash products. Oh my goodness, that palette is so stunning. And I think they actually got a Hindash eyeliner, which is, so eyeliner could be in your box. What did you get? Did you get a box? to try to try the lip. Yeah, this is a merit. It is a pretty mascara. Gives you quick impact, which I like in a mascara. I don't want to have to layer and layer and layer to see a difference in my lashes. Some people really enjoy putting on lots of mascara. I do too, when the mood hits me, but I really want to be able to throw it on um, and do one coat and be done and see a difference. If it, if it must have multiple coats, I don't like it. These lashes over here are wonky. I sleep on them, I think. So we've been having extraordinary um, angles of lashes these days, but that's the Merit Mascara. And let's try this lip. Okay, so this is the uh, Wayne Goss Essential Lip Liner in Mauve, which is, it's a wooden pencil. I know it says mauve, but it's really not to me. It 
it's a peachy beige. It's a peachy beige. This is very creamy and nice. There's that. <laughs> Manufactured in the Czech Republic. Here is the lipstick that I got. This is the Wayne Goss Luxury Cream Lipstick in Amaryllis. And it is a beautiful peachy beige, which goes really well with the lip liner. I don't know if they if someone is paying attention to the colors like I'm just curious somebody ask somebody who works at Beauty Lynn tell me <laughs> do they pay attention because that was perfect together I love it. that's beautiful it is an ice cream really comfy cool how's that for a face a beautylish face. Half and half beautylish face. <laughs> uh, let me show you real quick. I'm going to spray my Believe Beauty. Setting spray. I'm almost out of it. It's a good one. It does have a slight fragrance, though, if you don't like it. That one wouldn't be for you. Okay. I love it. I'm obsessed with these eyes. So pretty. I like it, y'all. What do you think? Tell me all the things down below. Like the video if you like the video, please. It helps out my channel. And subscribe if you haven't. Let's be friends. Tell me all about it. And uh, I'm looking forward to using these products more on my channel, but also just enjoying the beautiful makeup that I received. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day.